welcome everybody to the Mindful Magazine channel. Today I have with me uh, senior Johan Rode, I hope I say it correctly. <laughs> a small introduction to her. Uh, <laughs> she is an uh, author of a best-selling children's book uh, in Denmark and now as well uh, she is publishing her book uh, internationally. Also, she has a master's degree in business communications from the Copenhagen uh, Business School, and she's an expert in personal development and mindfulness for children. So it's such an honor to have her today on the show and to tell me something more about her new book. So welcome. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for having me. <laughs> yeah, it's such an honor. And uh, for every, uh, everyone who's listening out there, could you tell me a bit more about yourself? And how did you start with your series of books? How did you start writing? Yes, I'd love to. Um, well, I'm a mother of two and um, in my mid thirties. And when like, it, it came very natural how I started writing them. It, it wasn't like I had this idea that I wanted to be an author and, uh, but I, I just had children <laughs> and I, and I had, um, I had a lot of struggle with that, as, as you do as a mother and a father. So it just came, it completely came from my own challenges um, of being a mother. And then the, one of the first challenges was like helping him fall asleep. So, um, so the first book really just came from what I needed myself and how I, I wanted to get through to him and help him be able to find the calm in himself and and let go to fall asleep um because he could really struggle with that yeah because your first book is or your latest book i mean that you just uh published is actually why do i have to fall asleep yeah why do i have to sleep in english yeah. why do i have to sleep <laughs> yeah <laughs> and um so you struggled with your because uh, you have two children do you have a son, daughter? How, how did yes. you start? Did you have trouble sleeping? I have two, uh, two boys. My son, who's one and a half. So it's, mo it's mainly my oldest son who I've uh, written them for because <laughs> the other one is so young. Um, but it was definitely like the struggle and the frustration of him having difficulties finding peace and calm and like using all night trying to help him fall asleep and having no no nights left on your own sometimes and uh, and then like me handling the way i didn't want to sometimes where i would be frustrated and just say go to sleep and mm, and like feeling like a bad mother feeling guilty and then um, just keep, I just kept on having this urge inside of me that I wanted to make it easier and that I wanted to get through to him. Yes. Um, so you were kind of analyzing the situation and trying to find a solution. Yeah, definitely. So it, it I, I, yeah, I really just designed it as I needed it myself because I wanted to, to um, I really wanted to create it inside of him, like the motivation of wanting to fall asleep and being yeah. able to calm down. I wanted to create that inside of him. Um, so that's how I, that's what I created the books from. Yeah, and, and what do you think would be uh, the right age? So people buy your book. Uh, what do you think uh, would be the right age to start reading uh, your book to, uh, to the children? What age should they be? I, I wrote it for like three to six year olds. That's what it's aimed at. Um, but I would say, especially a higher age, I, I have a lot of um, children who bought the books that are older that read them to themselves and find calm in them as well. Um, but, um, but it's written for three to six year olds around that age. Old. Yes. And yeah. would you say it's, it's just for mothers or would it be for both parents? Definitely both parents. It's just, uh, it's just a normal children's book, 
where that you can read for your child when they have to go to bed and you many times read to them anyway at that time and then it just um, naturally helps them into a state of relaxation and and openness towards wanting to fall asleep that's the idea to to combine a normal children's story with a tool that actually helps solve a problem helps make to make it easier to calm down and fall asleep when you're a child yes so what you're saying is uh, almost like you're you're going down on the level of your child and you start making the child understand maybe mindfulness uh from their perspective like, yeah not not from the pair because how we understand it is maybe completely different as they are in their own world as a child yeah yeah and and how i really generally design this series of books is to um to motivate the, ch the child from within from inside yes um, so so i do this by telling the children the reasons behind why do we do as we do like why is it good to sleep at night yes um, so they have an understanding and that's something that can create an internal motivation yes like understanding why that's like the main thing and then also giving them the tools to be able to it's also important in in an internal motivation yes and, and, um, and in the books i also have some yeah sorry continue <laughs> uh, yeah okay <laughs> i didn't know if you were jumping but i just wanted to say that there are some questions during the story yes. like directly for the, the little reader and yeah. that can also help to uh, motivate them like, like to bring an understanding inside them because yeah uh, because they get to reflect and find their own solutions yes and reflect on why they think it's important to sleep at night so it's yeah. not coming from the outside but from the inside of the child that's like the main idea that's so interesting i think really um because what i see from the outside as an external factor is that most parents imply maybe what they think is good well you know the child they seem so young but they are maybe already in their own world and have their own ideas of what's good and i think yeah. it's very mature for them to think as well already at yeah. that age yeah and they really can teach us a lot because they're so pure and so they have so much to teach us so it's like <laughs> A lot of times it would just help adults to go back to what we came from yeah and that's what we do with with our children wow that's beautiful and uh you did you read the books to your own son definitely i made it for him yeah. um and and that's like every time i have a problem a struggle i feel like i have to write a book because i really need that physical tool um like pictures and a, another child it's not about my son then we take the focus off of him and then we put it down on the child in the book and that's a lot easier to handle when it's not about yourself yeah um, so i definitely use them a lot for my own children like something concrete physical to talk from that he can learn from it's my words <laughs> but I, I use another channel than just my mouth because then he listens more than than if it's just me talking <laughs> does he know you wrote the book yeah he does but i don't think he thinks about like the fact that he, like when he's reading the book he's just like into the story so <laughs> but he knows it's he knows it's mother's books yeah it would have been funny if you read the book and he didn't know you were the author <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> no, but he's so proud and he wants to be in the books and uh, <laughs> oh wow that's uh, that's really sweet <laughs> and um i saw that uh, as well uh, during writing the books you got some uh, some help from a child psychologist and a brain researcher could you tell me a bit about that process yeah yeah that was mainly um because i'm i'm a mother and i have the 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 struggles and the uh, the need to get it myself and I, I, I enjoy writing um, but I really wanted to take in some expert knowledge on what works for children and some proven effective um, tools that 
they have many years of experience with how it works and um, like to help children take in new stuff and feel calm. And so I thought it would be really interesting to bring in that knowledge and yes. um, have them read it through so that they would be like, yeah, we think it's good. Then I would be more like feeling like it would have lasting deep effects. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's, it's, it's great because now you have your, your own experience because I always think that people who write about something or who present something and have an experience of their own, uh, that when it's written or when it's spoken about, it comes from the heart because it's something, you know, and you struggle. Yeah. With. So yeah. basically you're sharing your own, uh, experiences and you're solving it and sharing it with the world which is actually really great because there's so many more uh, mothers and fathers out there who struggle uh, probably with the same issues yeah I think so too yeah <laughs> and I mean uh, in this uh, western world we we have to go to work we have to do all these things and sleepless nights it's not very helpful uh, for all of these things uh, no. It's definitely it's not. not. And uh, so, what do you think about the whole Western world and uh, raising children? Well, I think it's difficult, to be honest. I think it's a, a bit of a challenge to live in the world as it is right now. Yeah. Because it's only like how, like six years ago or something, that I had an iPhone. And I feel like just that little thing <laughs> changed my life a lot. <laughs> It both made life really a lot easier and that's great, but it's also such a challenge to keep focus on my children and to not be disturbed all the time and to not be, I get a little stressed from it and I'm sure they can feel the same. Yeah. So I feel like, like the whole opposite of, of stress and iPhones and stuff is like mindfulness and meditation and getting back to yourself and um, being present in the present and stuff i feel like we need that more and more yeah both for ourselves but also our children more yeah. calm i would love if they would still uh, sl take a nap in school or something or at least have an hour's mindfulness or something I yeah i think we so need it to balance There you were. Yeah. <laughs> I just lost a few seconds there. Everyone <laughs> knows right now we're live, so it's not a <laughs> connection problem, something of the Western world. Yeah. <laughs> Depending exactly. on Wi-Fi and uh, internet connection. <laughs> you never know what happens. <laughs> yeah, it's unpredictable. Before you would be in the same location doing an interview. And before you know it, you're using online tools and you're dependent on the, the internet connection. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so we'll just have to live with that. That's just the way it is now. <laughs> yeah. No, but uh, what you said, I, I totally, yeah, it, I totally agree. It's, it's really difficult. I mean, I don't even have children, uh, but maintaining my job, my blog, uh, my household, everything together is already a struggle. So... I can't even imagine um, how it would be if, if there's children coming in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it can be a challenge, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, definitely. And um, what do you think, because uh, the book, of course, is uh, about sleeping, you know, how to bring your children to sleep. Uh, what do you think are the the greatest obstacles for parents and making them children go to sleep well for me at least it's definitely been to get through to my child my i'm talking like my one child because he's the one i've had most struggle with um but like to help him be able to and to open him up for wanting to um and and especially because he's like if I have to capture his attention, then it's about warriors and action. And like, it's not about uh, meditation and let's relax. And then, then I get resistance. Yeah. So that's always been my challenge to uh, wrap it into something uh, exciting that could 
slowly and gradually help him open up and let him go. And uh, so, so that's what I pretty much designed, like especially the first book, I didn't start off with a child going to bed because then yeah. he wouldn't read it often. So yeah. it starts off at something that's exciting. Uh, and, and, and I don't think I'm the only parent who has that challenge of um, getting through to your child and helping them want to open up and be able to relax. Um, so that's definitely been the main challenge I've had to get through to him. Yeah. And um, uh, talking about that, could you name uh, the titles of the other books? Because I'm sure people are curious to hear what are the other titles. And uh, <laughs> Yeah, of course. That's, that's uh, the challenges that followed along. <laughs> like the first book, book, Why Do I Have to Sleep? And then the second book I wrote is called Why Do I Have to Brush My Teeth? <laughs> when we were struggling with that. <laughs> um, and then, then came Why Do I Have to Eat Veggies? Like yeah. Bringing in some knowledge and openness towards uh, different kinds of food. <laughs> and then the last book I published is called Why Do I Have to Learn to Say Never Mind? Yeah. Like that's, a, that's even more like personal development for children. Yeah. Didn't go off and, and, and what hang. do you mean with uh, never mind? How 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 did you build that up? I'm curious to hear. Um, but that came from me seeing my son struggling with, like as all human beings do for the rest of their lives, I think, uh, struggling with um, difficult emotions. Yeah, like uh, feeling left out or. Um, being upset and angry and how, how to handle all this inside of you. Yeah. And I'm an adult and I have tools, I have ways to handle it. So when I see my son not really having anything, yeah. it just came natural to me that I wanted to give him them. Why wait till he's, he's an adult? Why not bring it to him now? Yeah. Tools and understanding of how he can communicate to his own feelings and learn to put his focus on different things that make him happy and yeah because they're the future basically i mean the children that are born now uh they are our future so uh yeah. we can give them something i mean we know uh maybe in what ways uh we would have changed things or if i only knew that before <laughs> And now yeah. you have this knowledge and bring it on to your child so he learns it even sooner. Yeah, that's really... Could you imagine if they had this subject at school, like personal development? And I feel like that's the main thing that's important for me now, like yeah. that helps me ahead in life and towards my goals. And Yeah. So that's such a, an important thing to learn, I think. Amazing, amazing. And um, where can they buy your book? Because uh, by now maybe they're very curious and uh, want to know a bit more about where they can buy it. Uh, because this book is such a great method uh, to use uh, with children. Because uh, talking, this is literally uh, talking to your child by a way that you're already using, but then with the right book. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yes, you can buy it um, several places now, actually, but you can get it on Amazon. So if they just type, why do I have to sleep um, on Amazon, it should come. Yeah. And you can also get it on my website, um, liftupyourchild.com, it's called. Amazing. Um, yeah, so they should definitely go in there and also get a free meditation for their child on my website. They can get that um, when they sign up to my newsletter. Yeah. I'll send it to them. Uh, a sleep inducing. It's the meditation that's in the back of the book, Why Do I Have to Sleep, that I've recorded. So they okay. can- Okay, so they get that with the book. So they can also have yeah. some uh, hearing exercises with meditation. Yeah, when, like in the book, the, the meditation is written so they can read yeah. it aloud. Uh, but if they go to my website and sign up for my newsletter, I'll send it uh, in in a recording. Yeah, uh, made by me. So, 
That's they should great. definitely do. Yeah. So Amazon.com and liftupyourchild.com they can go to. Exactly. Okay. Amazing. And uh, for all the parents out there who are struggling, do you have maybe um, do you have maybe like two tips uh, concerning mindfulness that you could give to them? Like this is really a help. This was really helpful for me, and this is what I can give you. Yeah, I would say what what really mainly works for me. What I use the most is to um, to both put my my son in a state where he is open and yeah. like more corroborative and that could be for instance um by asking him like having a dialogue with him before yeah. sleep on like what do you think is good about relaxing how what what do you like about it what do you think it, your body thinks about it like opening so so the quest so the answers will come from him yeah. self from inside him instead of from me yeah and then really also to take the focus off your child and their struggle and their not being able to do what you tell them to yeah. take it away from them and yeah. over to something else like a book or meditation or whatever can help them calm down and capture their attention. Okay, that's amazing. Thank you so much for your time. And really everyone who's watching, I think she's such a great example and uh you know spreading her message to the world for something for some techniques that are very very effective so take a look at her website uh find out some more about her uh and yeah thank you so much for coming on the channel thank you thank you for having me it was a pleasure <laughs> yes and for everyone who's watching if you uh like this video uh give it a like give it a thumbs up uh, or subscribe to my channel. I'm also uh, will play some links of the website on the mindfulmagazine.com, so uh, you can find out more about Senia and about her upcoming books because I think we're very curious about that. It's not the ending, right? Definitely not. It's only definitely the beginning. Definitely not. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're definitely waiting for new books. So why do I have to sleep? Uh, take a look, find it out, and. Uh, well, I hope to see you soon again. And uh, I, I hope to see you soon. Yeah. You, Senia, and uh, talk, about, uh, talk about your next book that's coming out. Because I'm very excited. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Me too. <laughs> okay. Have a good day. Bye-bye.